Hey guys, this is Chris Lindley again here at uh, Bell Health. I'm with two leaders in the ICU today. I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. Hi everyone, my name is Cassie. I am the director for our ICU, our patient care unit at the hospital and our cardiac cath lab. And my name is Molly. I'm the clinical coordinator for our patient care unit and our ICU here at Bell Health. So over the last month, these two ladies and their team have been doing a lot of work to prepare for COVID-19. And I wanted you at home to just see some of the work they're doing and hear directly from them how prepared we are. So maybe Cassie, what are some of the things you guys have done over the last month? Thanks Chris. We have spent a lot of time making sure our staff are prepared to take care of any COVID-19 patients. So we've done a lot of one-to-one -one education with our staff about how to put on all the required protective equipment to make sure that our staff are safe, safe and taking care of these patients. We've also done a lot to make sure we're conserving a lot of the PPE reserves that we have at the hospital so that we'll be able to continue to take care of these patients for a long time moving forward. Molly, would you add anything? Um, we're currently in the process of converting more and more rooms into negative airflow rooms. Like this, right? Like this room <laughs> yes. right to my left. Um, we've been successful in converting um, four additional rooms on our PCU, and today we're in the process of converting two or three more rooms on our ICU, just to give us a little bit of an enhanced capacity to care for these patients. Great. And so I know on the news right now, there's all kinds of stories out of New York City, out of California and Washington. Hospitals are overwhelmed. They're lacking on the equipment. Can you tell us how we're doing here today? So we are in a really great place here at Vail Health. We have um, a lot of equipment that we have available to us. We actually currently don't have any patients that are requiring any of our advanced airway equipment right now. So we certainly have the capacity to take care of a few more sicker patients here within our hospital. And we're also monitoring that really closely. So if we do start to move to the space where we are taking care of more sick patients, we're in close conversation with a lot of our partners down in Denver to make sure that we're supporting all of our patients in that space. Great, anything to add to that, Molly? No, just to Cassie's point, we're having regular check-ins, you know, three or four times a day. We're monitoring all the PPE we have available, so we have a really accurate picture of days on hand. Um, so if we do get in that kind of like more critical space, we can take action um, to prevent any types of shortages or anything like that. Um, and we know at all times our bed capacity and our staffing capacity to absorb some of these sicker patients. Great. And another thing we're doing is we, as Molly said, we're doing daily check-ins. We actually. Up until today, I've been doing three calls a day. Today, we're going to two, just allow a little bit more time to do work in between. But at every call, we're checking in with these ladies about not only how well the ICU is doing, intensive care unit, but also the PCU. So that's where we have more of a general uh, group of patients. Can you tell the folks what the difference between an ICU and a PCU is? Sure, our PCU stands for our patient care unit here at the hospital, and that unit um, takes care of patients who we'd consider acute, um, requiring hospital level care, but not necessarily critical. Um, and our ICU is reserved for our most critical patients who need those tighter nurse to patient ratios and more close monitoring. And so we're here in the ICU today, and as you can see, things are calm, <laughs> things are great, they're slow, which is what we want. We're hoping to keep it this way, but I wanted you guys all to know that these guys and their team are ready, they're prepared, and should you need any care, they will be here for you. Anything else, guys? No, thanks so much. Thanks, Thank guys. guys. Okay.